now watching God Squad, a place to learn about the Bible. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Montez McCamish, and you are now watching itsmontez.com. On this episode, uh, you're going to be hearing from some some influential people that are going to be speaking scripture with you. Hi, I'm Sister Lexi Gunderson, and this is I'm Sister Lucy Morse. Uh, we are missionaries for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, but we are here to study the Bible. <laughs> yeah, so what we want to bring to you is we want this to be kind of more of a spiritual study. We're going to give you background. So this chapter specifically, I'll just read the italics, is John the Baptist is beheaded, Jesus feeds the 5,000, and walks on the sea. Those who touch the hem of his garment are made whole. So what we want you to get out of this is to feel Jesus' love, really, and know him more and more of his nature as a person and have him feel more real to you, honestly. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, go ahead, bring us into that study, girls. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do you want to start us off, sister? Yes. So we're going to be studying in Matthew 14, and we actually study the King James Version. So any version is fine, but this is what we're going to be reading from. And we're going to start by just, we're going to read the whole chapter, but we're going to, going to go find a section by section, because there's a couple different topics that it talks about. So first, like she talked about, it's talking about John the Baptist is beheaded. So we're just going to read that. We're not going to spend too much time on this, but um, it still is important to talk about. So we'll just read it back and forth. We'll go verse by verse. At that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard of the fame of Jesus. And he said unto his servants, This is John the Baptist. He is risen from the dead, and therefore mighty works do shew forth themselves in him. For Herod had laid hold on John and bound him, and put him in prison for Herodias' sake, his brother Philip's wife. For John said unto him, It is not lawful for thee to have her. And when he would have put him to death, he feared the multitude, because they counted him as a prophet. But when Herod's birthday was kept, the daughter of Herodias danced before him, and pleased Herod. Whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. And she, being before instructed of her mother, said, Give me here John Baptist's head and charger. And the king was sorry, nevertheless for the oath's sake. Then, which sat with him at meat, he commanded it to be given her. And he sent and beheaded John in the prison. And his head was brought in a charger, and given to the damsel, and she brought it to her mother. All right. And his disciples came, and took the body, and buried it, and went and told Jesus. So, in this part, I actually want to read a little kind of summary of that, just to make it a little bit more easy, because it's using a lot of, Bibles are kind of hard to study, honestly, because they're very flowery and stuff, so we'll just kind of explain what happened there. Herod unjustly imprisoned John the Baptist at the urging of his new wife, Herodias, who wanted to stop John the Baptist from condemning her unlawful marriage to the King Herod. And after his wife's daughter, Salome, that's who danced and he was pleased and said that he'd give her anything she desired. She danced before him and Herod publicly promised that he, she could have whatever she would ask. And she consulted with her mother and she, her mother wanted John the Baptist dead. So what she asked of Herod was John the Baptist's head. And since he made that promise in public, he had to give it. Because he was afraid. Because before it said that, because of the multitude, he feared putting John the Baptist to death. But because Salome had asked for it, he had to do it. Mm -hmm. And then if we keep reading, in verses 13 and 14, this is when Jesus Christ comes in. And it says, When Jesus heard of it, he departed thence by ship into a desert place apart. And when the people had heard thereof, they followed him on foot out of the cities. And Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude, and was moved with compassion toward them, and he healed their sick. This is, these verses are so powerful. When Jesus Christ heard about John the Baptist, they were really good friends, they grew up together. And when he heard about him, him dying, he was sad, and he went into the desert to be, to be away from everyone. But as he was leaving, a multitude followed him, and instead of being annoyed, and instead of wanting to be alone, it says that he had compassion toward them and he healed them. 
And I just think that that is such an incredible example of Jesus Christ, that even when he was struggling and mourning, he looked to others and had compassion. So we want to ask the question to you all, what can you do to endure and overcome sorrow? You are now watching God Squad, a place for you to learn about the Bible. This film was created by Spontans.com. Get yourself a real content creator. Duh.